I am a 20 year old college senior and I just declined a full time offer from Bloomberg and accepted one that is going to pay me less. My name is Matthew and welcome to the channel. So since I am a senior and I expect to graduate sometime in the May of 2022 and that's just whenever the school spring semester is over so as the faster we get there the cooler it will be I guess but I guess I'll be losing all these experiences in college. I don't know what to expect. But since I am going through the whole motion of that, I did have to apply to these different kinds of jobs and really go through the interview processes of them. Now, I remember when applying for jobs, I would tell myself I would apply to three jobs per week. And over time, I just built up an Excel sheet that has a list of more than 50 jobs that I applied to. And out of like those jobs that I applied to, I only heard back from two, which is quite bummer-ish, whatever. But I only heard back from two and I only got two interview processes with two companies and I went through those processes and after that I did get the job offer from both those companies and overall I had to go through this decision of which one do I choose. Now for the two jobs that I did get accepted into, these two jobs are very different in the kind of work that they do. One job was a sales and analytics position where the other was a financial analyst position. So there's two different routes that I had to choose from. Now for the sales and analytics job at Bloomberg, I would be really working in two different departments. That would be sales and analytics. For the sales side, I'd really be pitching different kinds of products to the customers and clients, whether that be just the Bloomberg terminal or other services that they have. And on the analytics side, I'd really just be helping people with the problems that they incur, whether they're using the Bloomberg terminal or whatnot. Now on the other side, as an entry level financial analyst, I would likely be compiling different kinds of budgets, whether that be on the income statement, as well as forecasting into the future. And maybe we'd look at different ways to cut costs for the company and try to make the company more profitable overall. Now there were a number of things that had a heavy influence on my decision and I really wanted to make sure that I reached out to my family as well as my friends and see what kind of input they could give me. Now my friends and family really told me to look into the salary I'd be getting, the career outlook, like what is the job that I want into the future and how can I grow into that position, as well as the work-life balance, like do I have time at home to do the things that I want to do and will I have time to spend with my friends and family. Now, the last thing would be really to look at the company culture and seeing do I value what they value and do my values align with theirs. And there's a lot of more other things, but these are just the main points that I had to think about. So I really sat down and had to figure out what it is that I want in life because I'd be working this job for the next couple of years of my life and it'd be a shame if I did choose the wrong job and really hated it. And after thinking long and hard, those things really started with one being work-life balance. So in terms of work-life balance, I really have to be looking at what kind of scheduling I'd be getting. And I remember being on call with the Bloomberg recruiter and she told me I would have to come in at 8 a.m. and then leave the office at 5 p.m. Now it wasn't really the hours that turned me off, it was more of the location. Location. So this company is located in San Francisco as their office is there and I'd have to commute there every single day five times a week. So just by that I know that it's an hour drive there with no traffic but likely since the SF traffic is so terrible I'd probably have to take the BART. Now I'd have to wake up at 6am get ready just to be at work by 8am. And then after the whole day is over, I would have to probably leave at 5 p.m. and then go home around 6 to 6.30. So that gives me like a whole 12 hours of just kind of working, if you call it, if you will. Those kind of things just kind of turn me off a little bit just from how exhausted I'd be and how much I want to spend time with my friends and family. Now, another thing I had to consider was the type of work I'd be doing. And that would be the sales and analytics job at Bloomberg versus the financial analyst job at the other company. And it really didn't matter as to what kind of job I'd be doing myself because I was really open to talking to new clients, really just making sales, as well as really crunching numbers and talking with the team and how we can cut costs. Cause both of the things I seem pretty passionate about and I do like those things overall. Now the last thing I had to consider was the salary and of course you have to look into it because you know that's how much you're getting paid right? And I won't go into specifics because I don't really want a lawsuit over my head but let's say the salary that they gave me was pretty good and it was in between the ranges of $75,000 to $85,000. And overall, that's still pretty good money coming straight out of college. Now the company that I accepted as a financial analyst was really going to be giving me a package that was pretty similar to Bloomberg's. However, after stock and bonuses that the company would be giving me, it'd be pretty similar, right? So I kind of had two very similar offers in terms of how much I'd be getting paid. So I'd have to look at other things like the location and the kind of quality of work I'd be doing and if I'd enjoy that for life or the next two years of my life at least. Now I really sat down and I thought and I thought and then I thought even more 
and there was just one really important aspect that I couldn't get myself to get over and that was just spending time with the people that I love and that would be with friends and family. So I know that I will be here on earth for a limited amount of time and my friends and family will also be on earth for a limited amount of time too. Time is not endless as there is always an end to everything. I really want to make sure that I cherish every single moment with my friends and my family that I can because I know that everyone's time is limited. And if you were to put me down to it, I would really just give up all the money in the world to be with a really great company. And that's what's really important to me at the end of the day. And really, what does money mean when you don't have the time to spend it with the people that you care about and cherish every single day? I think that us as humans should be living life to our fullest and living each day as if it is our last. So for me to be stuck 12 hours a day traveling and not really seeing my family, being exhausted every single day, that just wasn't really something for me and I really just couldn't see myself doing that. So I had to make the extremely hard decision to accept the full-time offer as a financial analyst in an established technology company within the Bay Area. Now I'll be living close to home, which is about 15 minutes away from my work, and I wouldn't have to commute that much as I am living in my parents' house, which is pretty much rent-free, as they don't really make me pay for expenses like water, utilities, and really just living there overall, which is really nice to me. So with that money, I'll be able to save up and hopefully move out on my own in a couple of years. Have you seen the prices in Bay Area? Like. With the $42 in my bank account, I will not be able to buy a $1.2 million home for myself, let alone put a down payment on that because that's pretty brutal for a new college graduate like me. <laughs> Along with this, I'll be able to satisfy my long-term financial goals, which would just be in terms of investing really. So I'd really wanna make sure that when I'm working my job, I contribute to my retirement account, as well as maxing out my Roth IRA, and then going into my brokerage accounts, just whatever left I have to choose individual stocks that I believe will do very well in the future and then whatever leftover money i have maybe save up and then trying to buy a house or a kind of small studio that i'd be able to live at within the next couple of years and maybe hopefully maybe hopefully this is very long term but like have somebody rent that out as well as me living there at the same time so it's kind of like house hacking as well as just me living there but i know that i'm quite far away from this so it is going to be quite a while before i get these financial goals set in place but in the meantime I'm pretty excited for the free company swag. I hope they do give me like a sweater or like a quarter zip because I think those things are pretty cool. You know, just free clothes in general. Like how often do you just get free sweaters and can wear them for free? You know, free clothes is the best clothes because I'm cheap. <laughs> now I have been meaning to post my new job acceptance on LinkedIn just to look cool in front of all my friends but I haven't really gotten to that so I guess I'll get to it whenever I get to it. Now overall choosing a company to work at is extremely difficult and it's something that you really need to think about. Every single option must be taken into account when choosing a job to work at and remember that you only have one life and with one life you can make one wrong move that could set you back so much farther. Some people may even lose purpose in what they do and really hate their jobs and really hate life after after they choose a job that they really aren't passionate about or just something that they hate doing overall. So before any job is chosen, you really need to make sure to sit down and really think what it is that you value in life. Some may say that it's work-life balance, money or time, etc. However, everybody is different and each person is wired differently. You just need to figure it out for yourself and then really go into which points are the strongest and really weigh them out for yourself. I guess in other words, at the end of the day, what is it going to be that makes you fulfilled as a person and really make you happy to live the life that you're living? For me, that is going to be with my loved ones and working towards being financially free. And after you double, triple, quadruple check on what it is that you value in life, it is going to make your job decision of choosing which job to work at so much easier. And as long as you do those steps, it is going to make your decision a lot more simpler because you don't really have a lot of things weighing on your shoulders at that point after you eliminated a lot of the possibilities that you could have gone through and what it is that you value in life. Just trust me, it makes it a lot easier when you're choosing a job for yourself. That about wraps up this video, and if you would, please consider liking the video as well as subscribing to the channel, and let me know in that comment section down below, what offers have you guys gotten from the companies that you've applied at? I really want to know in that comment section, so let me know. Anyway guys, thank you for listening to this story and this update about my life, and I just want to wish you guys a great one. Alright, peace out.